Welcome back unicorns to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel and this series is going to be like recreating cartoon looks but mainly cartoons like I watched when I was little. I don't know any new ones but yeah. So the first episode of this was the Powerpuff Girls and I'll link that video down below. That's when I did collab video with two other Instagrams. Some of these might be collabs. I don't know yet until we get on with the series. So if you have any suggestions of your favorite cartoons, maybe when you were little, if you're like my age, comment them down below. I want to see your suggestions. I'm going to try to show you everything I got. I'm just going to wing what I'm going to do. So let's get started with the video. So the first cartoon I'm going to do is very Odd Parents and Cosmo and Wanda. I don't know who I saw this look by because I have like a lot of people I follow on Instagram that are makeup artists. But whoever did the first look where they do one eye green, one eye pink, and they do the little crowns up here where their eyebrows are, that goes to them. I don't know exactly who they were. So don't get mad if I didn't like mention them because I don't really know. I. Like I said, I don't know who I saw it from. So, if you watch that show, let me know down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you like this new series. And I'm going to do the pink eye first because that's the easiest eye for me. I don't know how the green eyes are going because I don't have like a lot of greens. But we're just going to try it out. So, I'm going to get... Um... A brush. And what I always do, because I always like the colors, for the pink eye, I'm going to use blushes. I always use a color workshop blush. I might use other pinks, like in the Barbie palette that I got, or any other pinks. So I'll just show you why I'm doing it, if you want to know what I'm doing. So I don't know what, how I'm going to draw the um, crowns, but I'm going to try with like a eyeshadow and see how it goes. If that doesn't go good, then I'll try to draw them. But if not, we can just have a pink and a green eye. Then I'm going to take the dark shade from that palette and put it in the crease. Now I find my crease, I just look up like this and I'll put where the crease is. I don't know if that's exactly how you do it, but that's how I do it. And we're going to pack on that dark shade in the crease. And what I like to do is blend everything out with a fluffy brush. And the next pink shade that I'm going to use is from the Barbie palette. I'm just going to use it to deepen up the color. I'm going to use a little bit of Doll, which is this color right here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try this palette. I don't know if you watched my, um, I forgot what video it was on. I'll link it down below. But when I showed these palettes, I'm going to use the pinks from these. And the pinks from the glitter palette for the lid. So what I'm going to do for this modern metallic um, here is I'm going to try this shade first, this light pink shade right here. There are no names on these so I'm just going to show you them and I'll make sure to link these palettes down below if I can find them. So I'm going to get this Packer brush and we're going to try this shade on the lid some. I'm going to try the pink 
For some shadows, blunt best with your finger, if I have noticed. So we're going to try that. This is going to be the outer, but some of the inner. So I'm going to pack it to the outer. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a white baby. And these pack really well. Well, I'm not me, I don't know about the other ones, but these ones. So what I suggest if y'all use glitters or metallics or anything like that, if it doesn't look good, I mean work good with a brush, like a packer brush or anything, use your finger because that works the best. For me, anyways. Or you can wet your brush. Any way you want to do. Okay. So the inner. Well, first, before I do the inner, I'm going to take this brush again. And we're going to use that same shade. We're going to use the light pink. And we're going to blend it some. I don't know how this is looking so far. I don't know if it looks like Wanda, but to me it does. Okay. So I'm going to add the white shade right here. <laughs> the second light shade in the inner corner and a brow bone. And I feel like I just got glitter all over myself. Okay. I'm using my finger again. See if that works better as before, and it does. See, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of it and put it up here where my brown bone is. So now I'm gonna do my roller lash line with the same pinks I used for the top. And this might look like all my pink looks, but maybe you're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna take the dark, I'm gonna take the light shade first, sorry. And put it all on the bottom of my eye. And then I'm going to take the darkest shade of the brush and deepen it some, put it closer to my water line. Sorry about the sun. And then I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is Doll on the palette, put it right on my and then what I'd like to do is take a fluffy brush and kind of blend it some. So this is Wanda's eye, if the sun will stop. Um, I think it looks pretty. And you see the glitter? I love that eye. So I'm going to do the green eye off camera and I'll tell y'all what products I use. And then after that we will do the crown stuff if I can figure out how to do that. So I'll be right back. So I did the um, green eye off camera. I just need to blend the lower lash line a little bit. And I felt like it needed more glitter because they're fairies and so I used a little bit of these glitters and they weren't that much so I used the Unicorn Palette, Unicorn Dream, no, Unicorn Dream Palette, yeah, from Beauty Creations. 
you don't remember this is what they look like they're all glitters and i felt like they were more glitterful than the beauty ones so if you like a lot of glitter i suggest this palette but if you like just like a subtle glitter you can use these so these are my eyes i love them and i could not find a light green so i had to use like a little bit of dark green but the glitter um is what was making it like a little bit lighter and I like it like this and it's not like every other ones that I saw where they were doing like lighter greens but I think still it looks like if you look at me you'll know that I did it so I don't know how I'm gonna do the um crown so what I might do is just try Caution from the ColourPop Proceed with Caution Palette. I might try the yellow first and see how it works with a one of these brushes that you use for your eyebrow. Use this brush and see if I can draw it. If I can't, then this is what we're going to stick with. But. doesn't have to look perfect either because it's what I need. Yeah, I don't even know if y'all can see that. I might have to do like a couple layers with another brush because It only has to be like a little one. It doesn't even look like it does. I see. I want to do black around it. Maybe red would be better. what that looks like. I think it looks cute. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it on that side, but I will try. I could do... I'm going to try that. I'm going to do it the same way I did before. I just used this brush. This brush is, um, I got this from Sabrina and How We Trust on here. Or not on here, but on Facebook. If you watch my channel, you will know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible if I cannot. Then it's okay. I don't care if they're not even because they're crowns. But I might have made this one a little bit too big. And I suggest if you do this book to do the yellow first before you do the outline. Because you're going to miss it. I'm going to do the other one off camera and then come back. And these are the eyes that are completely done. I did crowns above my eyebrows and they're not that even but I don't really care and I put mascara on and these are this is the mascara I always use if you're new here it's the this brand Ribbon London 
And now I'm going to put lip gloss on because I don't have red or green. I have pink, but I don't have green lip gloss, so I can't do the split lips. So I'm just going to do lip gloss. Okay, so this, I'm done with this look. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other cartoons, like, characters you would like me to do in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Unicorn Family and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorns, always be yourself. Bye!